iOS 9 was introduced at WWDC 2015. Instead of focusing on the quantity of features in the system, Apple worked to refine the OS and add in some nice conveniences. One of these focuses was multitasking. The new slide over panel allows users to interact with another app in a miniature view temporarily. Other apps can be accessed from this interface as well. In addition, the split view interface offers interaction for two apps simultaneously. The new multitasking view uses a card type interface for scrolling through open applications. For certain video related applications, a new picture in picture function is available. The picture in picture window can be repositioned and resized. It can even be shoved off to the side. The picture in picture window will float on top of any background application and certain controls are still visible on the picture in picture screen. New shortcut commands can be found in the toolbar that attaches to the keyboard. The keyboard has also been redesigned. The cursor can now be controlled by a simple two finger gesture. And the characters on the keyboard display lowercase and capital letters. There's also new features for physical keyboards. For example, holding down the command key will display a HUD with keyboard shortcut information, and pressing command tab will bring up an app switcher, similar to OS X. The notes app can now include website previews. In addition, interactive checklists can be integrated, and there is a new sketching interface as well. In addition, there is a handy attachments button that will allow a user to see any types of attached files in the notes, including photos. The new search interface is expanded with more Siri-like capabilities, including suggestions and nearby location recommendations. The Siri commands have been expanded, and the interface has been updated to be more reminiscent of the watchOS interface. Browsing your iCloud Drive files is now much easier with a built-in iCloud Drive app. Performance and battery optimizations are present throughout the system. A new battery tweak on the iPhone is when the iPhone is facing down, the proximity sensor detects that, and the screen will never turn on for notifications. Six-digit passcodes are now available in iOS. Another feature being developed is a redesigned news application. This is currently not in this beta. Other features include Android migration and transit data in Maps. The hardware compatibility for iOS 9 is also very strong. So there you have it, a quick tour of iOS 9 Beta. Hey, do you want to see our new comedy series, Ken's Cinema of Shenanigans? If you do, you can watch the pilot right here. Perhaps you want to see our Anime Central cosplay music video. If so, you can click right here.